Please be seated. The court is now in session. This morning, the chamber will continue to hear the remainder of the testimony of a civil party, Sotsan. And after that, we will. Uh, Hear the testimony of Soy Sen and uh, Grafie. Could you report the attendance of the parties and individuals to today's uh, proceedings? Grafie, Mr. President, for today's uh, proceedings, all parties to this case are present. As for Onuji, he is present in the holding cell downstairs, as he waived his right to be present in the courtroom. His waiver has been delivered to the Grafi. The civil party who is to continue his testimony today, that is Mr. Sosang, is present in his courtroom. We also have a reserve civil party, that is through TCCP 271. Thank you. President, the, the Chamber now decides on the request la by Nun Chia. The Chamber has received a waiver from Nun Chia dated 25th March 2015. He confirms that due to his health Dans condition, that he is headache, back pain, and that he cannot sit for long. Santé, and in order to effectively participate in the future hearings, he requests to waive his right to participate in and be present at the 25th March 2015 hearing. He has been informed by his counsel about the consequence of this waiver, that in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge challenge evidence presented or admitted to this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC, dated 25th March 2015, who notes that the health condition of Nun is that he has a chronic uh, back pain and it uh, becomes worse when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber shall grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nunchi's request to follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs why an audiovisual means for today's proceedings as he waves his direct presence in the courtroom. The AB unit is instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nuji can participate in and follow today's proceedings remotely. And the chamber would like to uh, notify the parties that the proceedings of hearing the testimony of a civil party through TCCP 271 will be held partly in closed session due to the request for a protective measure by this civil party. And the remainder of his testimony will be held in a closed session awaiting the report of the WISU and that report
There seems to be a, a misunderstanding on the arrangement. And there is a discrepancy in the English and the Khmer versions. For that reason, the parties will be notified uh, after the break, after we rectify uh, the problems. And then we will uh, decide uh, also on the request by Q support Defense Council. The Chamber now hands the floor to the Defense de teams de again. And Defense Council, for Nunchi, you may continue. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning, Council. Um, good morning, Mr. Witness. Um, Yesterday, before um, the recess, I was asking you uh, questions about the testimony of uh, Sai Sen. I will uh, revisit that topic with you in a short while, um, but I would like to start with you first with some follow-up questions um, in relation to um, the names of prisoners and other guards. Um, the two other guards um, that I would like to ask you a question about are the guards uh, called Tuch and Tuch. Um, one, of, one of the guards um, gave testimony to uh, the investigators of the OCIJ and said that Tuik Tuch um, is living east of Wat Kna, south of Leibour. Um, could you confirm that? I did not know his uh, native village. However, he lived in Libo, a commune. I only uh, know the commune that he lived and not the village. Uh, and can you confirm that he is still alive? Since 1979, I do not know whether he's alive. Um, and Uk, Mr. President, I'm actually referring to uh, D40 slash 20. Um, that's English ERN 0043 my 00165332 and French 00524320. Um, and uh, this other guard, um, Mr. Witness, gave in his testimony uh, the following statement about Uk. He said that Uk uh, is now living in Basset district, Kampong Spu province. Are you in a position to confirm this or you don't know? I was not sure where the U uh, lived, whether in uh, Kampong Spu uh, province or not. Do you know if he's still alive or not? Since 1979, I have not heard uh, from him. Uh, all right, thank you. And Mr. Um, Witness of Civil Party, I would like to ask you Monsieur about one name of a, a female prisoner uh, that you refer to in your statement, uh, or actually it's uh, your statement to DC Chem, D22-1. 
slash 88. Um, and that's uh, ERN 00379422. Um, I just realized I don't have the cry even right now, but it's only about a name, um, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Witness, you mentioned somebody with the name who was a prisoner called Kumoi Bey. Can you tell us who Kumoi Bey is? Kumoi uh, Bay was very young at the time. Kumui Bay actually was the child of Ye Rat. I understand. Um, and the last question I have about a uh, possible female prisoner while you were there, uh, a female prisoner with the name of Rune. Does that ring a bell to you? Could you please uh, pronounce the name again? I do not catch that name clearly. Rune. Rune. I uh, know a person by the name of Rune. Was that a, a female prisoner who had a uh, love affair with Ta'an, the chief of the prison? On the matter of uh, love affair, I had no clue, I had no idea at all whether they had a love affair or not. What, what, what do you remember, uh, Mr. Witness, about Rune, the female prisoner? I can uh, recall that while I was carrying earth uh, and also the earth from the bottom of the pond, I can recall uh, her name at the time. Son nom à l'époque où je transportais la paire depuis le fond des étangs. Do you know for what reasons she was detained at Krangtachan? Elle a été arrêtée à Krangtachan. No, I did not know why she was detained as I did not ask her for that reason. Was she a friend or a colleague of um, the medic? The, the other female prisoner that we spoke about yesterday, Han. Han. I did not know whether they were uh, friends or were colleagues, si but I saw the two of them there. You saw, you mean them being together, Vous les avez um, vus, -dire like friends, or can you be a little more specific, please? En tant qu'ami, pourriez-vous être plus précis? In the prison compound. From my observation, they were uh, living together and they were prison, working together. I didn't see them uh, fighting or having any other argument. Thank you. Um, Mr. Witness, a, f a final follow-up question um, in relation to my earlier questions yesterday. Um, we spoke about uh, the female prisoner, Rat, and I asked you, you, you might remember, whether you ever saw her uh, after 
and um, I think you said that you didn't, um, but in one of your statements you, s you testified that you saw her again in uh, 2000. Is that correct? No, I did not uh, meet with a gay rat, but I made her daughter, Ka, who came to visit me at my house. So you met the daughter of Rat rather than Rat herself, is that correct? In, in fact, I met her sister, her en younger fait, sister, and not her daughter. Uh, Sokha was also a, a daughter of Yenyor. Um, thank you, uh, Mr. Civil Party. Now, as uh, said uh, a little bit earlier, I would like to revisit um, with you the testimony that um, Sai Sen has given to investigators um, of this court and to the trial chamber itself. Um, yesterday we spoke about his testimony uh, relating to uh, alleged sexual offenses within the compound of Grand Tachan. Um, what I would like to do now, Mr. Uh, witness, is read some very specific excerpts from his testimony to you, and then I would like to ask uh, your reaction. Um, Mr. President, this is the uh, testimony of Sai Sen E1-257 um, at around uh, 10, 40 and 10.42, French ERN 01064515, Khmer ERN uh, 01064674. President Council Coupe, please repeat the EN number again. Thank you. Yes, of course, Mr. President, that's 01064674. So, um, Mr. Witness, we're talking about, uh, Saisen is talking about you and about Duik uh, and about the other guards. And um, the question is as follows. There were two persons called Duik, Duik Tom and Duik Duik. No, sorry, this is actually the answer. I, I apologize. Uh, the, the answer of Saisen is there were two persons called Duik, Duik Tom and Duik Duik. Duc Tom was the deputy chairman. Duc Tuch was a subordinate. Aside from his job of killing prisoners, Duc Tuch, large duke, had the additional job of typist, making reports to be sent to the upper level. Small Duch was another name. Uh, and another named Sain were the cruelest of the 12 soldiers. And then uh, the question comes with respect to that statement, what compelled you, uh, Mr. Saisen, to say that Dui Tuch and another named Tsaing were the cruelest of the 12 soldiers? Answer of Saisen, I said that because when he saw or when he thought that the prisoner made any uh, or minor mistake, then he would just beat the prisoner up, beat him with his hands, or kick that prisoner. Usually he was, he was very active with his hands or feet in kicking or beating the prisoners up.
Uh, Mr. Witness, uh, Mr. Civil Party, the, it seems that Sai Sen is testifying that you and Duik were in fact very cruel persons and that you were in fact the cruelest guards within the compound of Grand Tachan. What is your reaction to that testimony? As for the uh, prisoners or for other uh, people working at Kantachan, I never laid a hand on any of them or uh, resort to violence against any of them. If I were a cruel person, then I would have been killed. A revenge would have been taken against me and I would not survive until today. And what about Duik? Was he a cruel guard mistreating prisoners? I never saw him beat anyone because Doc and I uh, stayed together and we also were on the same guard duty roster. Um, now, Mr. Witness, it seems that your testimony is directly contradictory to Sai Sen's testimony. Um, it seems that you are implying that Sai Sen is in fact not telling the truth. Um, what, is it, what is exactly your reaction to Sai Sen's testimony? How would you qualify it? President, uh, the Civil Party, please wait, and the Deputy International Co Prosecutor, you have the floor. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, my objection is that um, uh, Mr. Cope is leading the witness, trying to encourage him to provide an opinion or characterization of the testimony. This is the same thing he did uh, with another witness where he suggested the word fabrication. Um, the witness has provided his evidence. It's not for him to provide an opinion uh, on the uh, 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 credibility of others' evidence. Uh, Mr. President, I think I'm perfectly uh, entitled to do so. Um, uh, I put before the witness that there seems to be a very big contradiction in, in their testimony, and I think uh, the civil party has the right, is allowed to, to say what he thinks or how he sees uh, the testimony of Sai Sen. And, um, Au sujet de la déposition de Saïsen. So I think that is a, a perfectly uh, appropriate line of questioning in relation to this very specific une topic. Série de questions qui me semble parfaitement appropriées au sujet de ce thème précisément. Look, I thank some no ban, but I look with the V. You can uh, put a question, but you have to be uh, mindful of the wording that you uh, use. Les formuler. Avec minutie. Your last uh, question, Votre dernière question seems semble to try to elicit a, a known response from the civil party. La partie Please uh, refresh your question. Bien Donc, and if you use inappropriate wording si in your question, then the chamber will exercise its discretion either to reject it or to instruct the civil party not to respond to, to that question, question and it has been a practice in this courtroom. I will try to rephrase, uh, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Civil Party, when Sai Sen testified that you were the cruelest guard on the Krang Tachan compound, was he lying? In his uh, statement, 
And I would like to clarify the matter so everybody is clear about this. Que tout soit I bien clair was born in Libo commune, commune and I am still living uh, in the et area, and if I was a cruel person, si then I would uh, not dare je ne plus live là. in the same je native village. I would go and live elsewhere, dans mon and nowhere near Krangtachan, of course. Et pas à côté de so again, um, without being repetitive, I think, Mr. Witness, is Saïsen lying Alors, when he says that you were the cruelest guard? Est-ce que Saïsen ment lorsqu'il dit que vous étiez le garde le plus cruel? Ça. President, civil party, you do not need to respond to that question. To assess the credibility of the evidence is the burden of the chamber. And of course, duty council, you were advised on this issue yesterday. And please try to avoid this line of uh, questioning in the future. Very well, Mr. President. Um, Sai so Sen, Mr. Civil Party, didn't only say that you were the cruelest guard. He also said some other things about your actions um, within Krang Tachan. And I will read another excerpt from his testimony. And um, that is E1 slash 257. Point one, testimony at around 11.19 on um, 5 February 2015. The question, uh, Mr. Uh, Civil Party, is as follows. Very well. Now we are going to talk about Sain, the person you say is still alive. It appears that you have referred to him on several occasions, and if I understood what you said correctly, you said that with the small duik, Duk Tuch, he was one of the most wicked persons. Is that indeed the person you're referring to? Saïsen answers as follows. Uh, yes, Saïn and Duik were cruel and brutal. And as for Singh, he was not, as, not so much as cruel as Duik, small Duik and Sain. Question. Yesterday and again this morning, questions were put to you regarding the execution of two little girls. And you stated, I believe, yesterday that small Duik was a person who smashed the head of the younger of the two kids on the trunk of a tree and that Singh was the one who killed the second one. Is that correct? Yes, I remember it was not Singh who smashed the kids. Singh was the one who smashed the kids. The group who killed the kids were Singh, Singh, small Duik and another person. So the person Question. So the person who Question. smashed the skull and killed the elder of the two children was sighing and seeing, right? Answer. The older baby uh, was killed by sighing, and as for the younger baby was killed by seeing. Um, now again, Mr. Civil Party, Sai Sen is giving, or has been giving gruesome testimony uh, in relation to your actions um, within Krang Tachan, please um, react, if you will, to his testimony. Is it true or false that you uh, were involved in the killing and execu or execution of two small children? I reject that statement. I never killed any young baby or committed, or committed any cruelty there. How about Singh or small Duik? Did they, were they involved in the execution of two small children? As for Sim and uh, Small Deutsch, I did not know whether uh, they were involved in the uh, killing or, or, or when they did uh, that killing.
Fair enough. Um, but you were saying that you yourself vous, was at no point in time doing your um, vous, vous position at Kang Chan involved in the murder of two children. Is that correct? À l'exécution, le meurtre de deux jeunes enfants à Kang Chan. Ai-je bien compris? Answer: Yes, that is correct. Réponse: Oui, c'est exact. Again, I'll, I'll try to. Be careful in my phrasing, Mr. President. Again, it seems that your testimony is contradictory to the testimony of Sai Sen. Are you telling the truth and is Sai Sen not telling the truth? President, please wait. As civil party, you may not proceed. International deputy co-prosecutor. This is just a different way of asking the questions he is asking before, trying to encourage the witness uh, to say that someone else is lying, uh, not telling the truth. Um, the witness has given his response to the questions. It's not for him to characterize uh, or provide opinions on the testimony of others. Again, Mr. President, I, I think this is a perfectly appropriate um, line of questioning. Um, the civil party is also entitled uh, to give a reaction uh, to that very uh, incriminating uh, and damaging testimony. And um, in following up, if he would confirm that Sai Sen is indeed lying, of course I would ask the question why Sai Sen uh, is lying. And so in a court of law, uh, I think these are uh, totally appropriate questions. Au sein d'une cour, d'une chambre, il me semble que ce genre de question est tout à fait approprié. President, you are not required to provide your response because uh, you are asked to uh, give uh, the weights on the evidence. So, civil body, you are not required to respond to such questions. Oh well, I will move on, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Civil Party, did you very recently uh, run into Sai Sen and talk briefly to him? Et vous êtes-vous entretenu brièvement avec lui? Answer. I did not uh, run into him and chatted uh, non, je ne pas with him. Je pas I would like to lui. tell the court that dire à la chambre, one day during the marriage ceremony and party de of de mariage, uh, his child, of Soi Sen child, I was not invited to, uh, to attend the wedding procession in the morning. And I knew that uh, Soi Sain later went to live uh, with his uh, wife uh, at Ang Ta Sang. I, never, I have never talked to him. Um, Mr. Civil Party, um, I will read to you uh, an excerpt from a document, uh, Mr. President, that is E29-466, English ERN 010-666609, Khmer 01072056, and it says the following. It says that um, since his testimony very recently, beginning of February of this year. Uh, Mr. Sai Sen um, met both you, Mr. Sauter, and Mr. Srey, as well as relatives of Mr. Srey during his daily activities since his testimony. Uh, Mr. Sari said that Mr. Sauter appeared to him to be afraid and asked again that Mr. Sari described him as a victor, as a victim. Sorry. 
Mr. Sarif said he felt no threat from Mr. Sain. Mr. Sarif said that Mr. Sarif treated him civilly and his relatives also greeted him, but perhaps with less enthusiasm, enthusiasm than on previous encounters. Um, Mr. Witness, Mr. Civil Party, this is a report um, drawing on what Mr. Saisen has said to officers of this court, saying, indicating that he has very recently, since his testimony, met with you and little Is that correct, yes or no? I'm sorry. I told the court already. So I did not make any contact with Soi Sain. Since 1979, I have never made any contact with Soi Sain. I have never talked to Soi Sain as well. I cannot accept the statements of Soi Sain. So. In other words, he, you also Maître never Copé, asked him very termes, specifically that he demandé, should describe you as a victim rather than as a perpetrator. Contre, uh, comme un Mr. And uh, on this matter, Réponse. I never asked him about that. Je I never chatted with cela. him. As I said, I have never met him and uh, had a conversation with him. However, our house is uh, close to each other. So just to be 100% clear, Question. you never had an encounter with him in uh, the last one month and one month and a half talking mois, about your position demi, as a victim or as a witness. Is that correct? De, uh, vous comme une victime, de parler de vous en tant que victime, témoin. Answer. Réponse. I have never talked to him, so I cannot Je accept ne what he said. Um, thank you, Mr. Civil Party. Um, I would like now to talk about um, alleged um, torture that has, that has taken place during interrogations at Krang Tachan. Um, I believe yesterday in your testimony you were referring to uh, an incident of an incident describing interrogators using a plastic bag uh, and put that plastic bag on the head of the person who was interrogated. Um, my question is, first, do you remember when you saw this incident? Answer. As for putting the plastic bag on the head of the prisoners, I did not recall when it happened. And uh, during the time uh, that I, uh, I was cooking, I uh, could see that incident on some occasions. Um, let's start with one occasion uh, that you say that you saw uh, this happening. Do you remember? who the prisoner or the interrogee was? Was it a, a woman or a man? La personne qui était interrogée, s'agissait-il d'un homme ou d'une femme? Answer. The interrogator was a male. And the person who was being interrogated at the time, was that a, a man or a woman? Était-ce un homme ou une femme? Answer. The one, Réponse. the one who interrogated uh, the prisoner la was the chief of the prison. Le chef de la prison. Uh, I understand, but who was Question. the prisoner who was being interrogated? Qui était la, le prisonnier qui était interrogé? 
But that answer as for the prisoner Réponse. i uh, do not know his or her name je ne sais pas comment s'appelait and ce i did not know when the interrogation happened et je ne sais pas non plus quand l'interrogatoire a eu lieu you're saying that you didn't know or you don't Question. know his or her name Vous does it mean that you were not able to establish whether the prisoner was a man or a woman veut-il dire que vous n'avez pas pu voir s'il s'agissait d'un homme ou d'une femme Answer. I knew uh, the prisoner was a Réponse. man or woman. However, I uh, did si not know the name. I did not recall the name. Um, maybe something is not going well in the translation. Um, Mr. Witness, was the prisoner, was the prisoner that you saw a man or a woman? Yeah. Answer. Réponse. The prisoner uh, was man. C'était un homme. Um, do you remember his? Question. No, you don't remember his name. Do you remember vous any vous details? Vous souvenez pas de son nom, mais um, vous souvenez-vous d'autres détails? Can you give any description uh, about this prisoner? Décrire ce prisonnier. Answer. Réponse. Uh, for physical appearance, I uh, could not know clearly uh, because I uh, did not know how big uh, the prisoner was, and I could si not uh, see the prisoner well. Je ne pas bien le voir. Were you able to hear the questions Question. that were being asked? By the interrogators to the prisoner. Answer. I uh, did not hear the interrogation. Je n'ai pas entendu le contenu de l'interrogatoire. Do you know Question. how long the interrogation combien de temps lasted cet interrogatoire a duré? during which you saw this incident? dont vous avez été témoin Answer. Réponse. I did not know how long it lasted. Je ne sais pas combien de temps cela a duré. And I, from my recollection, it happened, it started, the, the interrogation started perhaps uh, at 10 in the morning. a dû commencer vers 10 heures du matin. You're saying the interrogation started Question. perhaps in the Vous morning. Que um, are you speculating or do you, do you know that this interrogation started at 10? Êtes-vous certain que cet interrogatoire a commencé à 10 heures? Answer. That is my guess Réponse. about the time. And uh, I uh, guess uh, the interrogation uh, began Je perhaps uh, at 10 a.m. in the morning. A commencé vers 10 heures du matin, d'après mes estimations. Do you remember? Question. Um, what exactly it was that the um, interrogators were doing with that plastic bag? Vous souvenez-vous de ce qu'ont fait les personnes qui interrogeaient le prisonnier avec le sac plastique? Vous en souvenez-vous précisément? Answer. Concerning Réponse. the plastic bag, that is my guess only. It Je ne fais que des supputations the par plastic bag au, uh, au sac plastique. Uh, was uh, taken from the rain coat and to cover the head and the eyes of the prisoner so that the prisoner could confess. When you're saying that is my guess, what exactly do you mean? Did, did you in fact witness it or didn't you? Answer. Answer. I could see the Réponse. incident 
from afar and uh, there is only my guest. I could not uh, go closer to the interrogation place. Je pas pu me rendre plus près du lieu de l'interrogatoire. D'où mes So is it, is it now, Mr. Civil Party, your testimony that you are not sure vous nous dites donc maintenant, whether the interrogators in fact used the plastic bag in relation to uh, the prisoner who was interrogated? Pour les prisonniers qui faisaient l'objet de l'interrogatoire. Answer. Réponse. I could see that the plastic bag or sheet uh, used to cover the hat, and I uh, did not go there closer to have a look, so I did not know uh, je pas well pu and saw clearly what je happened. Pas pu voir très clairement ce qui est, ce qui était arrivé. Um, did you see? Question such uh, an incident once or did you see it again happening? Une fois, ou bien plusieurs reprises? Answer. Réponse. I saw only one incident when I was je uh, un cooking rice. Genre, alors que je faisais cuire du riz. Just to be sure, you only saw it once and, and, and not on several occasions, because I think you clair, used that word several occasions earlier. You're fois, sure you saw it only once? Answer. Réponse. I saw only one incident when I was uh, cooking Arise, and I did not know whether in, after that time there were other incidents uh, happening. Peut-être que par la suite il y a eu d'autres incidents de ce genre. Do you remember whether you ever spoke to your fellow guards? Vous souvenez-vous avoir parlé avec vos collègues gardiens? This incident that you saw. Incident dont vous aviez été témoin. Answer. I never spoke with Réponse. other guards about the matter. Je n'ai jamais parlé de cela avec les autres gardes. So uh, we could not disclose any information to nous others. Nous we uh, were on our own business. Nous devions nous occuper de nos propres affaires. Do you remember whether any of the other guards Question. ever told you si that they had seen? Incidents of possible torture. Incidents, l'éventuelle torture. Answer. At that area, no one uh, told another one. We never went to ask each other about any incident, so we, perhaps we uh, could see different incidents, but we uh, did not uh, talk to each other about uh, the incident that we experienced. Uh, thank you, Mr. Civil Party. I would like now to ask you some questions. Uh, not relating to incidents during interrogation, but um, questions relating possible or alleged executions at the Kantachan compound. Um, you gave very clear testimony that you never, uh, you were never involved in the execution of prisoners. However, yesterday, I think. You Néanmoins, testified hier, that you saw, and I use the literal word, a glimpse of executions. Um, une execution. Can you be a little more specific? Um, être un peu plus when was it that you saw this glimpse of an execution? Can you be a little more specific? Answer. I had a glimpse of the execution at uh, the Krangtachan security. I uh, was not guarding uh, 
only at uh, one uh, post, uh, I was je asked to go and fetch uh, food, and also I was asked to go and do the transplanting and do the uh, farming. Can you be a little more specific what you mean when you say, Question. I saw a glimpse? Que voulez-vous dire lorsque Did vous you dites see something que vous avez entrevu une exécution Cela a duré une minute. What exactly do you mean with minutes? a glimpse Que voulez-vous dire par là lorsque vous employez ce verbe Answer. The killing réponse. could not happen in just a brief moment. Les exécutions and, ne pouvaient avoir lieu uh, we could not uh, go there bref to instant. sit and watch the execution. Et nous n'allions pas nous n'allions pas nous asseoir pour cooking, regarder assister aux exécutions. Uh, there were execution I believe and uh, je pense qu'il y a I did not care because uh, I was asked to do the cooking and I had to focus on cooking. Je devais me concentrer sur la cuisine. Um, in, in, in the English translation, uh, Mr. Witness, of your words, you say that you believed that you saw en anglais, Monsieur le témoin, um, an dire execution. Que vous um, avoir à à une execution. Is that what you said, that you believed that you saw it? Témoin, ce Answer, yes, réponse. I saw the execution. Oui, j'ai vu une exécution. Can you give us some more specifics, please, uh, Mr. Civil Party? Question, pourriez-vous être Who plus précis, Monsieur la partie civile, s'il vous plaît? Was it that was being executed? Savez-vous qui était exécuté? Was it a prisoner? Was it more than one prisoner? Were it women or men? Can you give us some more details as to this glimpse? Pourriez-vous nous donner davantage d'informations par rapport à ce que vous avez entreaperçu? Answer. As for Réponse. men and women prisoners, uh, they uh, were killed. There were male and uh, female prisoners who were killed. Il y avait des hommes killed. et des femmes. Des hommes et des femmes étaient exécutés. I'm not asking you to speak in general terms, uh, Mr. Civil Party. I'm asking you to describe general. in more detail the glimpse que vous nous of an plus en alleged execution. Ce que vous avez Were the prisoners, entrevu. or was it one prisoner, was it two prisoners, prisonnier, three prisoners being executed? Trois. Were they men, women? Can you give us some details? Answer. Uh, as for Réponse. the execution, I saw a man that was executed. Vu un homme se faire exécuter. So it was it was one man Question. that you saw being killed. Is, is that, is that what you're saying? En train de se faire exécuter. C'est bien ce que vous avez dit. Answer. Yes, that is correct. Oui, est exact. Can you describe this man uh, for the trial chamber, Mr. Question. Civil party. Was he old? Was he young? Was he small? Was he big? Do you know his name? Answer. Réponse. He was a former soldier. He deserted. He deserted at the rank, and he was brought in. He was with me in the district army of Stramkov, and I did not know what happened to him. That's why he was brought in. So you know, in, you, you, you would be able, in fact, to tell us his name. Is, is that correct? Answer. During the uh, war time with Lonnol, his name was Bong Cho. Il Bong he Cho. was the son of uh, Yainam. Le fils de Yainam. Um, would you be able to tell us uh, around which time um, this incident nous took place? Dire à quel moment cet événement a eu lieu? Answer. The incident took place Réponse. perhaps 
in the afternoon, uh, maybe at 3 or Cet at 2 p.m. I did not recall it well. At that time, I was asked to guard in the east. And at that time, uh, that Cho, Bong Cho disappeared, Bong and I did not know where he was taken to be killed. Il a été pour être um, now you're losing me again, um, Mr. Civil Party. Um, Question. Je suis elle, vous perdu, are you now saying that this civile. person that you say you présent, saw que la que was vous killed? Avez dit avoir vu, was in fact taken away and disappeared en fait, and you didn't see his killing? Answer, that is my uh, guess from my Réponse. heart. Before the killing, I was asked to guard outside. When I entered the compound, Tatjo uh, disappeared and I guessed uh, he uh, would be killed and I did not know where he was taken to be killed. Um, hmm. Remember, Mr. Civil Party, we were speaking earlier about Monsieur la partie civile, the glimpse of an execution that you saw or you experienced. Une um, did you, in fact, see the physical act of killing this man? Did you, in fact, see uh, him or this person being uh, beaten or killed and that he actually fell uh, on, on, on the floor, on the ground, or, or is it something that you didn't see? Answer. I did not uh, see the real physical act. I did not know whether the bamboo club was used or the, the club was used, but I only knew that uh, Bong Cho uh, was gone. So would it then be correct for me to summarize your testimony and say that the glimpse of an execution that you said you saw wasn't in fact you witnessing with your own eyes the physical act of killing someone? Answer. As for the beating or Réponse. any physical acts, I uh, did not witness. But as I said, uh, before I was asked to stand guard outside, uh, Mong Cho was still there. And uh, in the evening, uh, when I arranged uh, and organized the prisoner back into the place, uh, Mong Cho disappeared. Mong Cho was the son of Ye Nam, and I knew that he disappeared, perhaps he was killed. Um, um, Mr. Civil Party, so was this glimpse or this thing that you're speaking Question. now about the only time that Monsieur you ever witnessed a possible execution? À une execution? I did not have a glimpse of the execution, however I knew that the jail was executed that day, but I did not know how he was killed, whether he was killed with a bamboo club or not, because I did not witness the killing itself. Thank you, Mr. Civil Party. I would like now to Merci, ask you some questions about questions. Uh, other acts um, in relation to possible 
um, executions, and I would like to ask you if, if you were involved in this, yes or no. Um, did you, Mrs. Civil Party, ever speak or talk to prisoners um, before their execution or disappearance, um, or did you never speak to prisoners in such a way? I talked to, to the prisoners before they were killed? No, I si never talked to them before uh, they were sent. Did you ever Question. unshackle prisoners before they were sent away or before they were possibly killed? envoyé ou qui ne soit éventuellement exécuté. In each prison building, guards would be on a roster, and we had to report to the office or of the total number of prisoners, for example, for that particular night or for that particular day. And the office where Tamun was in charge would go and uh, verify the number that we provided to him. So do I understand correctly that you were that you and the other guards were in, were in general occupied with shackling and unshackling prisoners? de façon générale d'entraver et de désentraver les prisonniers? All guards involved in the shackling and unshackling of prisoners. When prisoners were brought in, then we had to uh, shackle them. That was to prevent them from attempting to flee, and if a prisoner fled, then our life would be on the line. Do you remember, Mr. Civil Party, ever see Saisen shackle or unshackle prisoners? As for Saisen, no, I uh, did not uh, do that as he was uh, engaged in all kinds of works uh, in the compound. But he didn't shackle or unshackle prisoners. I did not know whether he involved in the shackling or unshackling. But my question is, did you ever see Saisen shackling or unshackling prisoners? Yes, I said. I did not know. No, I saw him shackling and shackling any prisoner. Did you ever count Question. prisoners before their execution, or did you ever count dead bodies of prisoners after their execution? I did not know the total number of prisoners who were there or the number of prisoners who were killed on any particular day or particular month. However, I knew that the prisoners were killed at the, that the prison. Um, let me reformulate my question, Mr. Civil Party. Did you ever count dead bodies? lying on the ground of the Kankrachan compound, going one, two, three, four, etc. 
de cadavres allongés sur le site de Krangtachan. 1, 2, 3, etc. We only did a head count when we changed our gas shift at night. When we changed the shift, then we did a head count of the prisoners. Mr. Witness, Mr. Silver, did you ever see Sai Sen? Counting dead bodies on the ground of the Krangtachan compound. Go in and do a head count of uh, the prisoners. I only saw people from the office who uh, did that. Um, I understand. Thank you for your answer. But my question was: Did you ever see Sai Sen count dead bodies, bodies of prisoners who just had been executed? No. No, I did not see him do that. Did you or your fellow guards, for that matter, ever uh, dig pits which were to be used for the burial of dead bodies? A jamais eu à creuser des fosses pour enterrer les cadavres. I did not know about uh, other guards. Je ne sais pas ce qu'il en était des autres gardes. As for soldiers, they were assigned to, uh, to the specific uh, targets, and we were strictly following the, the guidelines or the instructions, but uh, in regards to digging the pits, that was uh, the work of the staff of the center and not us, the soldiers. Did you or your fellow guards ever strip off clothes of dead bodies on the compound of Krangtachan prison? Sur le site de Krangtachan, leur avez-vous jamais ôté leurs vêtements? No, I did not strip off uh, any clothes of uh, prisoners. How about your fellow guards? Question et qu'en est-il de vos collègues gardes? As for all the other guards, I did not know. Did you ever witness Sai Sen um, strip off clothes of dead bodies right after the execution? It's, it was the same thing Réponse. for Sai Sen. I never Même saw him strip off any clothes from the dead bodies. Les vêtements de cadavres. Did you ever carry, together with your fellow guards or by yourself, dead bodies Question. of jamais executed porté prisoners? Vous -même, ou avec vos collègues, les cadavres des prisonniers exécutés? My fellow guards and myself did not carry or track any executed prisoners. Did you ever witness Sai Sen carry or drag around the bodies of executed prisoners? I did not know 
whether Sois and uh, dragged or carry any dead body of a prisoner, or whether he were ordered to do so. President, uh, thank you, Defense Council. It is now convenient to have a short break. We will take a break now and return at 10.30 to resume our uh, proceedings. And court officer, uh, please assist the civil party during uh, the break and invite him as well as the uh, whistle staff back in through the uh, courtroom at 10.30. And of course, uh, per instruction yesterday, you saw comply with the uh, curtain drawing. The court is now in recess.